Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So we've had a lot of hype over the last couple weeks with the, you know, uh, the lead up to and then the announcement of the brand new cards from NVIDIA, the uh, the 3000 series. And I've been getting hit up a lot with, hey, Cardo, will I get a huge upgrade if, you know, I go from uh, my current GPU, whatever that may be, to say a 3070 or a 3080. Now, this is super dependent on a lot of different things. And so it's a very difficult question to answer. What GPU do you have? What CPU do you have? What's your monitor resolution? What games are you playing? You know, uh, do you crank your graphics or keep them at min? Like there's there's just, there's too many moving parts for someone to be like, yep, you'll be good because you never know. So uh, what I wanted to do in this video is kind of break down uh, a method so you guys can figure out, are you GPU bound or CPU bound? If you're GPU bound, then an upgrade will, you know, do you pretty well. If you're CPU bound and depending on how heavily you're CPU bound, an upgrade may not do anything at all. And it'll be a huge feel bad if you drop a bunch of money and then get nothing in return. So let's hop in and let's check it out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna head to uh, your favorite web browser and then you're gonna go ahead and head to Google and just type in MSI Afterburner. Uh, that will take you, hopefully, to uh, this page here. It's the MSI Afterburner homepage. You can scroll down. And then once you get down and down and down and down and down, uh, you're gonna see, don't be fooled by this download button, but keep going and you will see the MSI Afterburner, Afterburner uh, download. There's beta download and regular download. Go ahead and download that. It will uh, download and uh, extract it, install. And when you go to install Afterburner, um, make sure that you are also going to install the Riva Tuner Statistics server as well, because we're going to use that uh, component to show some stuff on, uh, on screen. Uh, so go ahead and get that set up, and then I'm going to kick off a game, and uh, I'll show you guys uh, how everything works. All right, I know I said that we were going to hop into a game, but I should probably show you guys how this works as well. So once you get um, Afterburner installed, you should have a skin that looks something like this or pretty similar to. I always find that uh, one of the other default skins actually works a little bit better for me. Um, so if you hit the gear right here to go into settings, user interface, and then I use the uh, default MSI V3 Big Edition, um, just because I find it's easier to work with. And then I hit okay, and then bam. And so now this is what my layout looks like. If you guys are looking to overclock your video cards and stuff, I have a uh, whole video dedicated to that. Um, I will put that link in the description below. So once you're here, you're gonna go ahead and hit settings. And once you hit settings, you're gonna go to the uh, on-screen uh, display, I'm sorry, the monitoring tab. And once you're in the monitoring tab, all of this stuff right here, um, this is all of the different things that you can set up in an on, uh, OSD or on-screen display and keep an eye on while you're gaming or benchmarking to get a better idea of what your PC is doing. So for the examples I'm gonna to show today, um, the main ones you wanna worry about are GPU usage, okay? And we'll click on down here a little bit. Um, we're gonna do, I think CPU usage is at the bottom. We'll do CPU usage as well. You can go as far as doing every single core individually, obviously depending on how many you know cores and threads that your CPU has, this number will vary. I'm running a 9900K, so I have you know eight threads, or uh, eight cores and 16 threads. Uh, and then beyond that, there is also uh, frame rate and frame time. So you can take a look at this, the, um, Frame time in this gives you the overall frame time. It doesn't really tell you if you're CPU or GPU dependent, um, but I'm gonna leave it up there just to have it on screen. And then we'll be going into a couple different benchmarks so I can show you guys uh, specific benchmarks that will tell you if your CPU is lagging or if it's on the GPU side. Um, when you go ahead and check these check boxes, just make sure down here you check show an on-screen display. That will give it the uh, in OSD. And then after that, you just make sure you hit apply and then you're good to go. Once you're done inside MSI Afterburner, uh, you will open up the uh, Riva Tuner Statistics server. And there's a few different things here. Um, you wanna make sure that it starts with Windows. Um, it shows the on-screen uh, display. And then uh, you want to, it's up to you how you wanna do this, but I believe 
uh, the shadow is actually off by default. I turn the shadow off and then you have a zoom uh, slider here, which is essentially how big the information is on the screen. Down here at the bottom, this is gonna be uh, you know, your uh, horizontal. I'm gonna set this to one just so it's always in the top left like that. And then for these tests, you want to uncap your frame rate. So just make sure those are set to zero. This program is actually really, really handy in case you ever wanna just uh, cap your frame rate across every single game without worrying about VSync. You can do it here and uh, this will actually uh, really efficiently limit your GPU uh, from rendering uh, beyond your monitor's refresh rate or really whatever you put in there. Uh, you can put in two and the game will run at two FPS or you can put in 200 and it will run up to 200 FPS. So now that I've explained this, now we can hop into a game and uh, I'll show you guys what to look for. All right, guys, so let me give you a breakdown of exactly what we've got on screen right now. Uh, I'm going to be showing you two different examples today. Uh, for one example, I'm going to simulate a CPU bottleneck. Uh, and then on the other example, I'm going to simulate a GPU bottleneck. Uh, the information we have on the screen right now, um, all the way at the top of the screen, uh, and it's the main reason why I'm using Modern Warfare, is because the game has a bunch of built-in telemetry. If you go into Options, and you go into General, and then you scroll down, there's a whole telemetry section that allows you to turn on a bunch of information about how the game is performing. Uh, it's going to give us FPS, latency, and some other things. The two main things that we want to look at, GPU time and CPU time, okay? If the CPU time is significantly higher than the GPU time, or even equal, honestly, uh, you are CPU bottlenecked. It means your, your processor is not strong enough to feed the GPU the information it needs. Um, if your CPU time, like what we have here, is much lower than your GPU time, you are GPU bottlenecked, okay? That's the more complex way of looking at it, if you will. I also have MSI Afterburner and uh, the Riva Tuner uh, showing uh, on screen, and we've got our you know temperature usage, clock speeds, memory usage, and FPS. Um, the main things we're gonna look from that is the GPU usage, uh, as well as just the overall uh, FPS as we, we push forward. So those are the things that we're looking at today in terms of uh, data and statistics as we go through uh, the next two um, uh, demonstrations. So I'm gonna load up on a larger map. This way there's a little bit more CPU overhead. The CPU has to work harder because there's more things to load. Uh, and then we're gonna do the first test will be my CPU locked at three gigahertz instead of five gigahertz. Uh, and only uh, with uh, four uh, cores available for Modern Warfare to use. And then the second one will be um, the CPU at five gigahertz, eight cores, 16 threads, fully unrestricted. Uh, and then in both scenarios, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna simulate a GPU upgrade by starting out with the GPU severely underclocked uh, in uh, MSI Afterburner. So I'm gonna slow down the core, I'm gonna slow down the memory, uh, I'm gonna limit the amount of power that uh, the GPU is allowed to use, and then I will have the current version, which is what's running right now, which is an overclock on the card. And that will kind of simulate having a weaker GPU and then upgrading to a stronger GPU to see what happens when you are CPU bottlenecked versus GPU bottlenecked. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so for my first example, I'm gonna be simulating a CPU bottleneck. I've got my 9900K um, declocked down to three gigahertz, and uh, I've restricted Call of Duty to only use uh, four of the physical cores on the CPU. So what you can see here is at the top of the screen, we have my GPU time and my CPU time. GPU time is at 10, CPU time is at 18. It's indicating that the CPU is holding back the GPU. The other big indication of this is the fact that we see the GPU sitting at 63% usage, meaning the GPU is not getting fed enough information to hold it at 99%. So let's say in this scenario, I were to upgrade my video card and I were to put a better, better video card in my PC. I'm currently sitting at about 60 FPS. Again, 60% um, usage and my GPU cl clock is at about 16 to 1700 megahertz. So I'm gonna overclock my video card to simulate a GPU upgrade and we'll see where I go from 60 FPS. Here we are. I will now overclock everything. We're back in game. And we saw absolutely no upgrade whatsoever. I'm still seeing at 60 FPS. My GPU usage has dropped because the GPU is now faster and even more capable. So it's having to work uh, not nearly as hard as it was before to keep up with the 60 FPS. 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this uh, this take. I'm going to go back into BIOS. I'm going to turn my my CPU, okay, back up to five gigahertz. I'm going to let uh, Modern Warfare use all of the cores, and then we're going to do the same test again, so you guys can see what happens when you have a GPU bottleneck instead of a CPU bottleneck. All right, and we're back. So the big difference here is my CPU is running at five gigahertz again, and it has access. The game has access to all threads and cores. Now you'll notice that my CPU time is no longer very high. It's back, you know, it's at like five milliseconds. My GPU time is uh, higher at 11 milliseconds. My GPU usage is sitting at uh, 97%, the other couple percents used by OBS. And the biggest thing to notice here compared to before was even on the slower clock when we were only getting 60 FPS, regardless of whether the GPU is, you know, overclocked or not, we're already getting 90 FPS um, at the uh, base um, overclock or underclock rate, right? So since my GPU is at 100%, if I were to upgrade and, you know, just like we did before, and in this case, an upgrade would be considered just overclocking the video card, right? Because we're going to speed everything up. Now we'll stay at, you know, 97%, but now we're up to 114 FPS. Uh, the GPU time has dropped from 11 down to about 8 because we're making headway, but the CPU time is still sitting down there at 5, so I am still considerably um, bottlenecked by the GPU and not by the CPU. Alright guys, there you have it. So, like, the big takeaway from this, right? Using a game like Modern Warfare. Uh, one, this, this test was actually a, a bit more difficult than I anticipated. Um, as much crap as we like to give COD, it's, it's very well optimized for CPUs. Uh, I had tried to go as low as uh, two gigahertz on my CPU and, you know, uh, disable some cores and stuff and BIOS and it just, it was crashing left and right. So, um, I did have to crank it down quite a bit, which leads me, leads me to my next point. You have to test the games that you're playing, um, against, you know, these theories because every game is different. So whether it's Apex, whether it's, you know, uh, Call of Duty, uh, whether it's Tarkov, whatever it may be, right? Um... You, you really want to look at your, first and foremost, your GPU usage. If your GPU is not being pegged between 95 and 100%, there's a very good chance that upgrading your video card isn't going to do much, if anything at all. If you're really low on your GPU, like 60%, it's almost guaranteed that it's not going to do anything if you upgrade your GPU because it's just not being fed enough information to use the hardware it already has at hand. Now... Upgrading your CPU can help alleviate that. Taking a look at CPU time versus GPU time uh, is going to be the biggest factor. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to find games that actually surface that information. It's the main reason why I use Modern Warfare tonight, uh, because it, it, it does show both CPU and GPU time, so you can really see where the bottleneck in your system is coming from. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, Feel free to drop a like or subscribe. Catch me live at twitch.tv slash cardo. And uh, until next time, guys, stay humble and peace out.